Hello guys, welcome. Now, one of the major questions that both current and prospective international students have is what next after my studies in the United States? Now, I have a whole video explaining the prospect of international students after their studies that I'll be uploading in a few days. Kindly hit on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that immediately I upload it, you'll be the first person to check it out. Now, one of these options is OPT. OPT stands for Optional Practical Training. Here's the thing, if you're an international student and you graduate, you have the option of working in the US for a year, that is approximately 12 months. Now, if you're into a STEM program, it means that you can work for up to 36 months, which is approximately three years. Now, by STEM, I mean science, technology, engineering, and mathematics programs. Now, what it means is that if you don't fall into this category, it means that you have only 12 months, that is a year after your graduation to work, authorized to work. A lot of programs, especially in the field of art, do not fall into this category. Now, if you are currently an international student or a prospective international student in the U.S., it will excite you to know that the Department of Homeland Security, as of January 21st, has added 22 different programs to this STEM field. Now, these programs were previously not considered as STEM. What it means is that if you were into any of these programs and then you graduated, you have up to 12 months to work or uh, a year to work in the US. Whilst those who are into the STEM programs have up to 36 months, which is three years to, um, to work in the US. Currently, 22 different programs has been added and I'm excited to share this with you. I'm sure you are eager to know whether your program is included or not, or if you are a prospective international student, the program you intend to study has been included in this or not. Well, I'm going to go ahead and share with you the, previously, the previous programs that was considered as, as STEM and then I would also share with you the new programs that has been announced and now regarded as um, STEM by the Department of Homeland Security. Stick around. Now before we go into it, if you're new here, my name is Fred. I'm currently an international student pursuing masters in public administration at the University of Kentucky. I also serve as a research assistant for the Kentucky Transportation Center. If you are interested in education abroad, scholarship opportunities, life abroad, and visa interview tips, please start by clicking on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Now let's go into it. So guys, this document um, was downloaded from the website of the Department of Homeland Security. and it's a document that contains all the um, Department of Homeland Security STEM designated degree program list. So um, this was the previous one. And so I'm sure that this document will be updated since the announcement was made as of uh, January 21st. So this document contained all the programs here. So if you check out and then your program is indicated here, it means that you have an option of a 36 month optional practical training or OPT. So these are all the programs there. They are quite a lot, but the exciting news is that um, 22 new ones has been added, which included geography. You know, so previously geography, for example, was not included in this document, but the new ones includes geography so let's let's move on to the announcement that was made um, and i will share the link to this document in the youtube video description you can easily check that out now moving on to the announcement that was made today um if you if you check out the release date, it is January 21st, 2022. And it says that Department of Homeland Security expands opportunities in US for STEM professionals. You know. So um, there's it's a long list. The Department of Homeland Security today announced 22 new fields of study have, um, have been added to the STEM optional practical training programs to enhance the contributions of non-immigrant students study in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So real quick, let's see the programs 
that has been added. So the 22 new fields of study are bioenergy, general forestry, fo forest resources, production and management, human-centered technology design, cloud computing, anthrozoology, climate science, earth, sci earth system science, economics and computer science, environmental geosciences, geobiology, geography and environmental studies, mathematical economics, mathematics and atmospheric and oceanic science, general data science, general data analytics, business analytics, data visualization, financial analytics, other data analytics, industrial and organizational psychology, and social sciences, research, met um, research methodology, and quantitative methods. So these are the new fields that has been added. You might want to check out if your program is included so that you can plan. If you are graduating, you know that you have three years of optional practical training. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. I'm sure this video has been informative. So now, if you're an international student or a prospective international student, then you know what programs to go into or if you want to reconsider the choice you've made earlier. Now, I would be glad if you be part of the Fred family by clicking on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. This has been the Fred Effect. Thank you.